Keep it up. As, and Nixon takes the mark at half four. It's got Bowie short, calling for it. Got low now, looking for a lead. Nixon, two marks, eight kicks. And as Dennis Cometti said a couple of minutes ago, involved in an extraordinary incident after Hickmott was just shepherding him off. Seemed to lose his call completely. Will he kick a goal here? It'll take a very good kick. Drop punt, coming back. What a goal. A beauty. 12-11 to 9-10. Well, a high kick from Rice. Hung in the air a long time. Nixon took the mark. And watch this kick. In running, you would never back it. And yet at the last possible moment, it swung right to left and snuck through. And what a big goal it was, not only in the context of this game, but perhaps the season for the Saints. Handy lead now. We're back in the middle. Coglin goes off the ground. Melbourne need the next goal. Tengay fell over. Keo with the run of it. Keo does well. Kicks through centre. It bounces towards half forward. Johnson hand passes towards centre half forward. Devonport, as he's done all day, stands firm. Kicks it out wide, but it's all Melbourne. Stretch. Possibly Melbourne's best player. Now the Shepherd was too far off the ball, says the umpire. Well, Rice gets the free kick, and I suppose technically the umpire was right, but certainly the umpire putting his stamp on that piece of play as Tengay has claimed. Now, I'm not sure that umpires should do that. Clearly, it was going to be, in the scheme of things, a Melbourne ball. It was three against one. The man was 15 metres in the clear. And the umpire decided to pluck a free kick out of that and change the nature of things. Well, if it's the rule, it's the rule. But Melbourne, a little stiff. Steins. Rice has got it. Smothered off the boot by Obst. Brett Lovett timed the release superbly. And away goes Phoebe towards half forward. Viney couldn't juggle it. Knocked away by Devonport. Scramble forward by Heber. Brilliantly taken by Burke, away to Coglin. With a drop putt, low the target. Sporting doing pretty well in this term. Cracker to Bowie. And will he go? Yes, he does. 13-11 to 9-10. And that was an excellent Rovers goal because the handball put him under a little bit of pressure and he was quick enough to control it and snap truly. Now, if you want the story of the game, it's here. Just watch Hughes. The indecision whether he goes to low or stays off. At the last possible moment, he checks, but that was time enough for that man to get free and kick the goal. So Melbourne now in deep trouble. They trail by 25 points. And St Kilda showing a lot of fight this afternoon. They're still very much in this competition. Hobbs, the high kick. Pekin with great courage going back after it. Viney away to Tengay. Opportunity for Johnson. Johnson from 40 metres out. Misses. He had a little more time than he knew. And it goes through for a minor score. Remarkable effort by the Saints. They've made a lot of mistakes and still they lead by four goals. Devonport, most impressive. Favors the outer side. Steins is there. Came over the top and fisted it forward. Viney, target practice. Goal. And they're the sort of mistakes that hurt teams. You wonder how Viney can be so free. Well, the answer is the man that's marking him, Devonport, kicked the ball in. St Kilda 13-11 and Melbourne at 10-11. Yes, interesting one there. Devonport kicking the ball in. Viney standing on his own at half forward. Nobody bothering to pick him up. Stein's able to thump it out towards Viney, who turned around, as Dennis Cometti said, took target practice and goal. His second today. 89 to 71. Viney with two, and the Viney Devonport clash the most interesting of the day. Both having an effect on the game. It's been a fierce third term. Little love loss between the two teams. Some fierce tackling. And the umpires obviously directed this week to let it go. Ops with a thump away. 
Burp. Rice. Oh, good turn. And if the MCG was a little better, he would have held his feet. Lowry, good kick. It was a mighty kick. It had Lowe's name written all over it. And Rice was able to get it to Peak and to Lowry, who was able to give it to Lowe. Well, you would back him in from here, wouldn't you? He's had 11 marks, 9 kicks, and kicked 2 goals. And he must finish this off with a goal, because there's a minute and a half remaining in this third quarter. There's just three goals of difference. And after inspirational play like that, you've got to kick the goal from 20 metres out. Low, drop punt, steers it, and puts it through. The AFL Expand.